Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Trader DNA. This is one of the MACD strategies that has a very high accuracy and should be understood by all Forex and stock traders. So, the MACD strategy I'm going to share with you is one of the most effective trading strategies with a high success rate. It is simple to use, applicable in almost every market, and most importantly, it generates profits. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. The MACD, or Moving Average Convergence Divergence, stands as one of the most widely used technical indicators among traders. Essentially, this indicator utilizes moving averages to identify market trends, and it excels in doing so. Now, if you're an experienced trader, chances are you have either used or come across the MACD indicator before. However, the MACD indicator alone is an incomplete tool and does not work effectively. Therefore, it is crucial to watch this entire video to witness how I combine it with other indicators to significantly enhance its performance. First and foremost, let's incorporate the MACD indicator onto our chart. The MACD indicator is highly effective in identifying market trends. To determine an upward trend on a chart, it is important to observe an upward crossover between the MACD line and the signal line. For example, when the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it indicates upward momentum, while a crossing below the signal line suggests a downward momentum. The histogram can also be used to assess the strength of momentum. A growing histogram indicates an increase in momentum, whereas a shrinking histogram implies a decrease in momentum. To maximize the effectiveness of this indicator, it is advisable to enter a trade only when the lines cross upwards, specifically below the zero line. Entering a trade when the lines cross above the zero line is not recommended. Similarly, for short trades, it is crucial to enter the market only when the lines are crossing downward and positioned above the zero line. As you can see, this indicator is user-friendly and easy to understand. However, many traders face challenges by solely relying on this indicator. Let me tell you why this approach is ineffective. The MACD indicator performs exceptionally well when the market exhibits a clear trend. For instance, in this scenario, the MACD indicator accurately predicts upward price movements as the chart reflects an upward trend. However, in this particular case, despite the price moving downwards, the MACD still signals a long trade. This indicates that MACD alone is not sufficient for trading. It is important to have a filter in place to avoid potentially harmful mistakes. So, in the next section, let's discuss the most effective methods that have been proven to protect traders from falling into the MACD trap. So, here's a straightforward method to determine whether the market is in an uptrend or downtrend. All you need to do is incorporate a 200-day moving average. To accomplish this, once the indicator is added, you will observe a single line on the chart. If the price is positioned above that line, it signifies an uptrend in the market. Conversely, if the price is below that line, it indicates a downtrend in the market. Therefore, if the market is above the 200 EMA, we only look for buy signals, and if the market is below the 200 EMA, we only look for sell signals. I will show you how this EMA line accurately determines whether the market is currently bullish or bearish. Here, as you can see, when the market is below the black 200 EMA line, it tends to try to go further down. When the price touches the line, it always tries to go much deeper. Then here, after the market is exhausted and no longer capable of going further down, it starts to rise and breaks above the black 200 EMA line. And once it successfully breaks above the line, with the price above the 200 EMA, the market tends to become bullish. So, why is this line so special? It's because all institutional traders like banks and fund managers pay great attention to this 200 EMA line. And many of their financial decisions are based on this line. Since they all think and assume the same about this line, the effects of their financial decisions can be predicted more easily. Next, I will show you how to leverage MACD and 200 EMA to maximize your profits in the market. So, if we combine all these elements, we execute a buy trade when the MACD lines cross below the zero line. And the current price remains above the 200-day moving average. By following this approach, you ensure that you only trade when the market is in an uptrend. On the other hand, if you intend to enter a short trade, you would simply do the opposite. 
Confirm that the price is below the 200-day average and the MACD lines are crossing downward while positioned above the zero line. To illustrate, let's consider entering a long trade at this point. We initiate the trade because the MACD lines are crossing upward below the zero line and the current price remains above the 200-day moving average. Now, what I prefer to do is set a stop loss just below the 200-day moving average. This way, the 200-day moving average acts as a support level that the price needs to breach in order to hit my stop loss. Additionally, I like to set a profit target that offers a 1.5 ratio in relation to the initial risk. As you can observe from this example, the strategy functioned precisely as intended, resulting in profitable outcomes. All right, now I'll show you the most crucial secret why this strategy will bring in maximum profits based on the profit-taking strategy you apply. The real strength of this strategy lies in placing your trades close to the 200 EMA. As I mentioned earlier, when the price gets near the 200 EMA, if it bounces back, the rebound will be quite significant, offering you a much higher potential risk-reward ratio, possibly exceeding 1 to 5. That's why it's essential for you to constantly keep an eye on the market like a sniper when you notice the price approaching the 200 EMA zone, because if it bounces, you can quickly amass wealth. Even though this technique is highly lucrative, it's crucial to always implement strict risk management practices. However, we can further enhance this trading strategy. While the combination of the MACD and the 200-day moving average proves highly effective when there is significant price movement, it becomes less reliable and generates false signals when the chart enters a sideways phase and loses momentum. Take a look at this example where the chart moves sideways and the MACD produces numerous false signals. If you had traded at this point, it is likely that you would have incurred losses. To tackle this issue, you should avoid the market if the 200 EMA is clearly horizontal and the previous market movement is hard to decipher. You should only enter the market if the trend has a significant slope and the market trend movement is easily readable. So, I just shared with you a highly effective combination of MACD and the 200 EMA to achieve remarkable win rates. As you can see here, on almost all trading signals, you will gain significant profits. You can manually create a trading system based on this. However, if you want the exact same settings I used in this video, you can download them in the description. In this video, I've provided a template with the system that you can easily upload to your chart. It will automatically plot all these indicators accurately on your charts, so you don't have to worry about anything. Get the download link in the description. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. See you next time.